since time immemorial, the Ocheti Shakoi living in this region uh, had hunted this region. A lot of them were farmers. Uh, a lot of them had cultivated the land. They lived off the land. They lived with the land. Family structure was important. Family structure within the Ocheti Shakoi helped uh, raise those kids, the next generation of tribal citizens, the next generation of leaders, the next generation of warriors. And it was very important for them to raise their family by those spiritual laws and, and by the laws of the people themselves. Which they had uh, very strict laws. There was laws against stealing. There were laws against adultery. There were laws against different types of abuse. And how they made sure people followed those laws is they had warrior societies. They had policemen, the Akichita, which means uh, those that look out for the people, was a very specific society. You can compare them today as the police. As we see police officers today, they protect and they serve the people in that capacity of making sure nobody is violating the law. Nobody's uh, scaring the herd of buffalo away. Nobody is uh, bringing dysfunction to a family, committing adultery or different types of abuse that was unacceptable. The severity of the crime would dictate what the punishment was. That's how uh, strict our Dakota people were, Lakota people were, uh, for, for many hundreds of years. It should give people a better understanding that the people of the Great Plains, the Great Sioux Nation, that we had structure, we had law, we had a society that followed the rule of law, and there were also, all, and there were also punishments uh, for those that did not follow the rule of law. And that was uh, very important to the Ocheti Shakoe people.